Shalom. Kahalaya, la Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, and Chakodash. Double line is to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, Wachasalah, Bachayar, which is peace and mercy to the elect. I'm your fellow servant, I'm Yadia. I represent the GMS branch here in Cleveland, head of feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians. People of Negro and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth from among the heathens, to you say Shalom. Out of one writes out, but now out. This is the edifying lesson. Um, yeah, this is an article from CBS News. The Heavenly Father is this is the Heavenly Father is turning up, man. This is the year of the turn up. The Heavenly Father is gonna get a lot of these move a lot of these celebrities and these supposed leaders of Israel out of the way, man. Right? Because y'all causing our people to continuously go astray with this demonic music that they put out there. You know, all this demonic music. Y'all be perpetuating violence in our community. Y'all don't do this shit in this so-called white community. Y'all destroying our community, fucking niggas like this, man. Heavenly Father got a controversy for niggas like this. And the Heavenly Father gonna move all you niggas out the way. If you're not um, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, your how about she may have the Lord will move these niggas out the way. And this nigga was a demon to one of the Akim in Atlanta one, you know? I ain't putting the brother business all out there, but this nigga was a demon to the brother. Okay? So the Lord gonna start moving these niggas out the way. Because y'all cause the Lord's people to err. Fucking niggas, man. Y'all perpetuating uh, violence and wickedness in our communities, man. Y'all are one of the main reasons our people bugged out. Because y'all helped forth the agenda of this goddamn devil by pushing out this demonic vibration through the music. And y'all fucking reaping the benefits of it, man. You know, scripture talk about whose mouths must be stopped. Yeah, I know that's talking about these false prophets and pastors, but these niggas mouths must be stopped too, right? Because the message that they sending out there, it ain't a, it ain't a positive one. See, we're pushing a positive message. The pastor was a great millstone, right? We're pushing out a positive message and a positive vibration through the spirit and power of the heavenly father, man. All right. These niggas ain't telling you nothing good. They ain't giving you good counsel or good advice. You know, that's why the heavenly father. And these niggas think the Lord don't see them. Oh, you niggas forgot the scripture said what? It's one of my favorite scriptures. He that created the eye shall he not see. So the Lord see all this shit. The scripture say that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. Right? The Lord the Lord, the Lord, Lord is at every pace beholding the evil and the good, roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord know everything. Your ways are not hid from the heavenly father. That's what these niggas think. Right? And a long arm of the law. Y'all niggas think y'all above the law? Y'all think y'all like the Rothschilds and Rockefellers? No, nigga. Y'all niggas still subject to the law of the devil. Okay? Y'all still subject to the law of these, the, the so-called white men, who biblical nationality is Esau, Edom, man. And the Lord been taking a lot of these niggas out the way, too. Whether it be murdering their ass or just putting them in, in jail altogether. YFN Lucci, he another nigga. Oh, he was beefing with these niggas. YFN Lucci, which they got all these different, you know, these acronyms, right? Which they basically, YFN stand, it stands for what? Young Fly Nigga. See, that's not a good vibration to be pushing out there because of that shit be fucking, um, that's a, that's the, that has the minds of our people delusional. All right? YFN, Young Fly Nigga, right? We ain't niggas. We're princes of the power. Right? We're princes of who these people inly call God, man. All right? God and Jesus Christ. You know, I don't like to use those names, but just so you can understand, man, we're princes of the power, man. Okay? We ain't no fucking young fly niggas. Okay? Then you got his, that's that's why I Finn Lucci shit. And then you got uh Young Thugs is uh, YSL. Young slime life. Well, the heavenly, we ain't, we ain't, the Lord ain't about no goddamn slime life, man. We supposed to be conducting ourselves that's uh, becoming of, the, of holiness, becoming of the heavenly father, man. We ain't supposed to be sliming our people out, fucking murdering our people, you know, flooding our communities with drugs and guns, you know, you know. So the heavenly father going to move these niggas out the way, man. And these niggas need to get moved out the way because at the end of the day, the only ones who are going to be left standing is the men of the heavenly father. Starting with the apostles and elders of great millstone, Lord willing, I'm a part of that number, man. Those are the only men that's going to be men. Because these niggas ain't men anyway, man. They ain't no men. 
right? Real men do what? They they push this word, right? They help build a nation. And that's what we doing. We building. Y'all niggas tearing our people down with this BS, man. Y'all ain't building our people up. What's the Hebrew word for build? Is it is it bana? I think that's the Hebrew word for build. Y'all ain't building our people up, man. Y'all tearing our people down, man. You know? Y'all keeping our people in the position that they in right now. So, yeah, good good for this nigga, man. Right? And the Lord going to take a lot more niggas out the way because a lot of these damn J's, G, uh, what's, that, what's the nigga's name from uh, Arkansas? ESTG, everybody shines together. Yeah, they're a bunch of demons, too. ESTG, them. Oh, yeah, 4-2 Jug, he just got arrested, too, by the federal agents because he ain't turned himself in to serve a six-month sentence, man. Right? Pooh Shice, he got five years. Fujiano, that nigga's in prison. The other artist that Gucci got, you know? So, Lord, moving these niggas out the way. Okay? Lord, get their ass out the way. This is the year of the Heavenly Father turning up. Rapper Young Thug Monk shot after his May 9th, <clears throat> after his May 9th, 2022 arrest on racketeering and street gang charges. Right, in the RICO Act. And I forget who came out with that RICO Act. I believe it was that dude, um, what's his nigga name? He was like the mayor. I think it was Mayor, Le mayor Giuliani. If I'm not mistaken, because I watched this one documentary back in the with the with the mob and shit. That's when they came out with that Rico act. Yeah, they went to some college. I remember this shit. But yeah, that's that's the one, man. Right? So they Lord turning up. Let's read some of this rapper. Young thug. Right, and we ain't <laughs> we we not we not supposed to be portraying the image of a thug, man. Right. And see, that's what's celebrated in this society in the most black culture. See, this is what black culture have have gotten our people, man, until we refer to ourselves as thugs and fucking uh, uh, fly niggas, slime life. Right. Let me look the word thug up just real quick on etymology and see what that says, man. It's a lock here. I'm going to just look the word thug up and then I'm going to just read some of this article. And that's it. It says thug. A it said member of a gang of murderers. Yeah, man. You know, and that's the spirit. Cause a lot of those his um his co defendants, right? A lot of his co defendants that got arrested in and rounded up in this RICO Act, man. They was a lot of them is um got certain counts and charges that they was um indicted on, and some of them is for murder, man. That's what a thug is, a member of a gang of murderers. Well, the scripture says what? Um, thou shalt not kill. When you go into the word kill, it basically means to murder. You ain't supposed to be out here fucking murdering your, your brothers, your people, man. Right? You supposed to be murdering the en enemy. You better believe ain't none of them niggas going to get charged with the murder of, the, of, of these devils, man. Right? And I'm, I'm not telling nobody to go murder anybody, but the point is, if you are to murder somebody... Right? It, it got to be... You got to really do that to your enemy, man. See, this nigga don't know... Well, he know who his enemy is. Because, like I said, he know, the, he know the brothers in Atlanta, man. This demon right here. So, he know all about the Israelites. He know what the Heavenly Father intentions for us to do, man. We're supposed to be fearing the Heavenly Father. But, hell, here this nigga bow down on his knees, man. And, 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 you know, do certain things to get certain goodies from the devil. Said Thug is a now member of a gang of murderers and robbers in India who strangled their victims. Yeah, murderer, get gang of murderers and robbers, right? Uh -uh, cheat, a swindler, right? And who you cheating at the end of the day? You cheating our people. Look what it say, cunning, fraudulent, right? You're a fraud. You ain't really no thug like that, bro. You ain't fucking out here fucking murdering people. You ain't murdering nobody, man. You ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no, you might, you, he might got, um, some bodies on his belt, but the point is, man, he ain't doing it like the original thugs did, you know, covers, conceals to cover the thugs roamed about the country in bands of bands of from 10 to a hundred. And that's the spirit. That's a, that's how a lot of these fucking, uh, um, these Jake, sorry, in the, in, in the, in the industry, man, the music industry, they got all these different, uh, gangs. And they turn like 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 GZ came out with the um CTE, which CTE stands for Corporate Thugs Entertainment. So that's what these niggas basically are, a bunch of corporate thugs. That's all they is, man. You know? It says, um, 
Um, the the thugs roamed about the country in bands of from ten to one hundred, usually in disguise of peddlers or pilgrims, gaining the confidence of other travelers, whom they strangled when a favorable opportunity presented itself with a handkerchief and unwound unwound, unwound turban or a noosed cord. The shedding of blood was seldom resorted to. So real thugs, the real thugs, the original thugs, they, they're giving you the um history of it, that, which that shit originated in India amongst them Elamites. That's not a part of our culture and our heritage, man. But the real thugs, they didn't even shed blood. They strangled shit, you know? <laughs> it says, the motive of the thugs was not so much lust of plunder as a certain religious fanat, fanat, fanaticism the bodies of their victims were hidden in graves dug with a consecrated pickaxe, and of their spoil, one third was devoted to the goddess uh, Kali, whom they worshipped with it. Right? See, that's all that shit is. That shit is that shit is idolatry, right? Pushing the vibration of a thug. That's idolatry because that's what it goes back to. So we don't supposed to be having our people want to be thugs and shit like that because unbeknownst to them, they but fuck they that shit all goes back to the goddess Kali, man. All right, whom they worship. Okay, so if you uh, worship and put in being a thug up on a pedestal and that's highly esteemed in this society, right? Uh, uh, indirectly, you're basically that's the, you're the, you're an idolater. Idolatry, man. Okay, so let me read some of this shit. Like, he said the Atlanta rapper whose name, and this was yesterday. This 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 demon got arrested. The, the Atlanta rapper whose name is Jeffrey Lamar Williams was arrested at his home in Buckhead, in Atlanta neighborhood, just north of downtown. He was he was being held at the Fulton County Jail. All right. Let's see if it say more. That's probably it. And I ain't even gonna read no more, man. You, you know what I'm saying? The, but the Lord. It's going to start to take a lot of these jakes down, man. The brother my eye, he always talk about the hip-hop police, man, and that shit real, you know? So um, let me see if I can um, see if I think. Because I, I didn't really have too many scriptures, you know, but the brother Akim was talking about this in the, um, in the, in the camp sanctuary, and they was making mention, in, in particular, the Bishop Ataza one was saying how they already put curses on this devil, this demon years ago, and now the curses is finally being manifested, and Lord, and I know the brothers is, 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 is rejoicing right now, you know, I'm gonna get me a bottle of champagne, man, you know, but crack a champagne seal in celebration to this, this demon being taken out of the way, man, you know, <clears throat> so yeah, man, you know, that's just a quick lesson, you know, I pray that this is edifying, I want to give all glory on and praises. To Yahweh, Bahashan, Yahweh Shai, Bahashan, Machakwadash, double honors. To the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, Shalom, Machasala, Habakiyar, peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom, Wafla Babal.